When British soldiers wanted to build a base in Nadali district centre back in 2009, they consulted the local elders over where they should put it. So they were surprised to be told they should build it where the British had always been. And that was here, among the ruins of Farangi Kala, translation, the foreigner's castle. Today, forward operating base Shawkat sits nestled inside those ruins. According to local Afghans, they are the remnants of a castle occupied and fortified by the British during the Second Afghan War, sometime around the year 1880. So 131 years on, here we are again within the grounds of the castle, providing protection again to the British forces. The structure, with its traditional mud walls and intricate brickwork, clearly show typical Afghan building materials and techniques. A local contractor would have been employed to do the work. It was in 1880 the British began building the castle. The original had three main gates, eight towers, and the walls were 15 feet high. It would have been a magnificent sight. This picture shows a traditional Afghan fort from the same period. It's what the castle might have looked like in its original state. These watercolours depict an Afghan fort occupied by the British in nearby Kandahar during the Second Afghan War. Eventually, the British abandoned the fort at Nadali and were heavily defeated at Maywand. For years afterwards, locals dug up the ground, convinced they'd find treasures left behind but the structure was preserved as a site of antiquity until the Taliban arrived. The, the local authorities actually maintained the castle as national heritage. Um, unfortunately, back in 1997, the Taliban destroyed parts of the, parts of the castle. And as you can see, only certain parts of the castle actually remains. Some historians doubt whether the British were ever based here, and of course the story could be down to local legend. Whatever the truth may be, those based here today can't help but wonder about those who sought refuge behind these walls long before they did. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Fob Shawkat.